31-year-old Christy Hefner is the daughter of Hugh Hefner, the man who founded Playboy Enterprises, Playboy Magazine, Playboy Clubs, you name it. She was recently here, and I was curious to know if she thought Playboy Magazine was truly a serious magazine. I would say that as a monthly magazine, which is not a news magazine, that Playboy has provoked more media attention on the stories that it's covered, whether it's an interview with Jimmy Carter or a piece of uh, nonfiction by Robert Shear called With Enough Shovels that was the first piece to talk about the fact that we have elected officials in this Defense Department that think a nuclear war is winnable. So I would say that uh, month in and month out there is more serious journalism in Playboy than any other monthly magazine that's of a feature nature I can think of. But I find that we have all had such such a problem, and maybe we're expressing all of our own sexual hang-ups. You said it, I didn't. Well, it's possible, sure. I don't run away from that. I think that's very possible. I'm sure you have some sexual hang-ups yourself. But it's always a problem to, to see a serious piece by a President of the United States coupled with five or six parades spread of, of women in, in various stages of undress. It does. It seems incongruous. I think that that is very much a reflection of the problems that this society has. Do you find it incongruous in your own life to enjoy going to bed with women and also be interested in politics? No. Why shouldn't a magazine be able to reflect interests that you find consistent in your own but life? Why isn't it more popular then? Why aren't more magazines? Why doesn't Time Magazine do that? I don't know, but the fact is that Playboy sells 4,100,000 copies and Time sells 3 million copies. So the fact is it's very popular. So you then regard still we live in a sexually repressed society. Well, I think that's clear. I mean, I don't think there's any question about that compared to European and other countries. We like to think that we're a sexually liberated society, but the truth is if you look at the way, for example, television covers sex, we're almost the only uh, Western society that has this fear of nudity on television, and yet what we have in its place is the most sophomoric, adolescent, snickering kind of attitude towards sexuality, as exemplified by situation comedies. What Playboy is, is a very direct and open expression of the fact that people are interested in uh, the opposite sex and sexuality. But Christine, that's what many people claim. Your father has portrayed a very immature, uh, kind of uh, smirking view of sex and sexuality. Uh, and, uh, of the, the guy who's Mr. Sophisticate and so forth, and his sophistication essentially springs from going to bed with a lot of different women. Now, a lot of women I know whom I've interviewed say that is a, a very perverse view of sexuality. I it, think it is. It's not Playboy's view, though. I think what Playboy has always stood for is an attempt to humanize sexuality. You have to remember the magazine began in the 50s at a time when virtually every state in this country had laws prohibiting different forms of sexual behavior if they weren't between married adults and if they weren't in the missionary position. Mm -hmm. And the attitude was that the only good sex was sex for procreation. And as a result of that, uh, a lot of very bad sex took place in this country what under the bad, rubric. Bad I mean, sex. sex in which people were not happy with each oh. other, sex where it was used as a weapon by a woman to catch a man to marry him, by a man to get a woman so he could sleep with her all the time. And as a result of a lot of changes in society in which I think Playboy played a role but certainly was not the only force for change, we've come to a society in which people see sexuality as a much more natural part of their lives. Women are much freer to express themselves sexually and, and men as well. You do realize that, uh, well I can only say that she speaks for herself, but Gloria Steinem still regards Playboy as basically a smutty magazine. I don't think Gloria Steinem has any corner on wisdom regarding Playboy. Yeah. Do you think she has a valid view of that? She is a, she is a very important... I asked her what she mm -hmm. would uh, think of Hugh Hefner, and she said that she thought Hugh Hefner would envy her role in changing thought in America, and uh, that she didn't regard that he had. Now, I find it significant, not necessarily true, but significant to talk about for a moment, because whether you like it or not, Gloria Steinem has had a great deal to do with the change of women's perceptions and the perception of women in this society. So I would think you would have to deal a, a little less cavalierly with what she thinks of your magazine. I don't deal cavalierly with it. In fact, Gloria Steinem asked me to be on the board of a political action committee that raises money for pro-choice candidates, and I work with her on it. I simply think that um, in this area that she has blinders on, and she knows I think that, and she's certainly entitled to her opinion, and I'm sure she's not the only one who holds it, but the fact is that the women's movement got a great deal of its initial energy from the sexual revolution that Playboy played a role in. When Playboy was editorializing in the 60s before there was a feminist movement about the rights of women to control their own bodies through contraception and abortion, that laid some very important groundwork in terms of people's attitudes that the women's movement then was able to expand in a very effective way that has influenced women as well as men.